Hello, Victor here and uh, RestoreMercedes.com Today we have a series of videos that I'm making for throttle body removal, throttle body um, diagnostics just so um, cover up requests on how to remove it the air assembly the air filter assembly is removed right now as you can see in um, plastic piece that covers the plug for throttle body is also removed first I'm going to show what card is doing and then here is the the cover that covers the um, throttle body connector this is the cover that goes over computers right here I removed it because the throttle body plug cover goes under the cover that covers computers all right so first of all this is a 95 Mercedes 500 SL as you can see it um, and um, this video is this video basically covers SLs S classes E classes so first of all or well, V8 motors in other words first of all we're gonna show what the car is doing now, it's a beautiful condition, it only has 108,000 miles, there was a very professional repair done on it, where somebody just took out bulbs on ABS and ASR, so as you can see if I turn on the ignition, they just don't show up, they don't light up at all, so that is what happens when very professional mechanics do repair these cars. Alright, so first off we're going to start it up. The car starts up, it hasn't been started overnight, but you can see the idle is good, okay, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna run it for too long because I do need to have engine not too hot so I can work on it, but I'm gonna let it run until it drops down to normal idle right now, and um, we do not have again ABS ASR lights, somebody took out the bulbs, as you can see idle is fine, alright, pretty much exactly where it has to be but when I apply gas that's how it drives as you can see if I give gas Steady on the gas. And idle's fine. Well, doesn't run good. Okay, so we're not going to run it for too long. Okay, so this is the problem. We'll put ignition back on, we'll go to start diagnostic now. So, and also, as you can hear, the hum is fine. Throttle body hums well. It does react. And everything seemed to be fine but obviously the car still doesn't run good so we're going to go to EFP functions and we're gonna go and read fault memory of it and this is what we got the only one code safety fuel shut off switch signal for LH N31 basically once I clear this code it reappears right away okay um, so my first obviously first idea was that the throttle body is bad and uh, basically I was right but I just wanted to show you how I came up to that without cutting wires at first so 
reset the ignition and I just cleared the code and I'm going to read it again and uh, that code will reappear as you can see it now the reason why it comes off why the code comes up is that because if throttle body is not sending the correct signals right here you got idle speed sense safety idle speed safety contacts and safety contacts okay so in this throttle body they both off it's gonna be one supposed to be on the other one's supposed to be off when throttle body is on idle so if they both off then the computer senses the problem with throttle body and it actually sends the signal to shut down in injectors the fuel supply is being cut and there we have this fluctuating idle um, well actually not idle, idle is fine it's fluctuation when I apply gas when I press on the gas so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to show why I think the throttle body is bad this is one of the hints there could be other codes of course but in this particular situation this is what we have this code is what we got now what I do with throttle body let me just get my blade find my blade and of course I cannot find my blade right now but I already made an incision here as you can see I just basically this is the throttle body cable it goes down to throttle body underneath so we have this incision that I made already so basically you just take the sharp blade with one arm it's very difficult to do but I'll try this is basically the idea what you do with it just to check your wires you just cut not all the way though you have to cut only the upper layer so I already cut it last night it was too dark to make a video so you pick up the wire you spread it open what we find here is all of these wires basically fallen apart so you can see them there yeah <laughs> this is just really really bad right now but it's not insulation anymore it's just dust so that's all the way from the beginning to the end of the throttle body is what you're gonna find these wires to have no insulation on them well some insulation but they're all touching they're all shorting so before anything is done to this car throttle body must be removed and repaired once it's repaired then check for codes and you know the normal procedure which I'm going to cover later on now next set of videos I'm going to show how I do remove throttle bodies and um, hopefully it will help out other people to actually fight these ASR problems okay now obviously in order to remove throttle body you do want to remove the air cleaner and um, the cover that's on the passenger side here so you can unplug it all right, well, off we go for two part two.